is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode two of season four of Overlords. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. They would play this song. Oh my god. Oh god. <sighs> No, no, no! <laughs> we pray to die. Shelter shows the fuck up. Like, oh, I need to see her. Like, oh. Oh, there she is! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> God, happy baby, happy me, yeah! <laughs> I can't imagine anybody watching this and like, this girl, oh my God, this woman. <laughs> oh, who the fuck is she? We are showing her. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, my fucking child. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, she gonna go home. All right. Of course they would show that.
Mm. I mean, well, damn, she just wants to know. Yeah, but see, at the same time, I mean, you know, even though the princess is a little fool, but she seems a little too interested in this, if you know what I mean. I felt like she gonna do some shit. Oh, that is so true, sir. Come on now. Oh, I forgot. I didn't like him. Such an ass. I hate him so much. Like, oh.
God, I love her. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh god, the CGI horses. Why? Like, like seriously, why? Uh, positive thoughts, Deja. Mm. Kitty toe? It sounds kind of like him. Why do I feel like he's about to get bitch slapped? No. 
up making me feel some type of way, and I don't like it. Well, damn, you don't really give a shit about that, bro. Mm. I don't think this is a good idea, like... <laughs> I don't even have anything to say about this situation. It's just a bad idea. I mean, yeah, it could be good, but... Wait, you're telling me, Alvaro? Queen talking right now. So interesting. Your ass? <laughs> okay! <laughs> hmm? No. Damn, they even made the. Oh my god, her face. Uh, even the, they made even the people for the ball CGI. Are you kidding me? And a virgin, which I'm still shocked about that. I don't trust this bitch. For what? Yeah, and you're supposed to host everyone else. Mm hmm.
This episode went too by. I can't speak. Went by too fast. Okay. But that's Overlord in a nutshell. The good episodes, but it just goes by too fast. Like, oh. And two, Shell's here. Bitch, where you at? Week two? Honey? What are we doing? Oh, no. Like, oh, stop. Stop. Just, no. No, 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 no. Because, see, this reminds me of season two and season three all over again. And how sometimes I was like, yeah, when the fuck are these two going to show up? And this is me. Like, da 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 This episode is good. What the fuck, Alberto? Where the fuck, Shelter? Yes, I know. It's about everybody in this show. But, you know, when you have your favorite characters and you want them to show up, you're like, give them to me now. Like, psh. I can't. Ain't that supposed to be like some Pandora's box type ish thing? Because we've seen this box before, correct? Things are cute. Like, I girls being girls that's all okay okay all right let, let's talk about philip <laughs> <laughs> philip just reminds me of any character in like anything this could be like cartoons anime tv shows movies whatever who thinks they're the shit and they're not the shit <laughs> Like, I, I just, I need to know. Like, cause he, it, it sounds like this is Kitty just like you. I, I wouldn't, you know, cause I, I, cause I hear a little Inosuke there at times. Not too much, but it, it wouldn't surprise me if it is him. So I might have to look that up or some, uh, somebody will end up eventually telling me or I'll end up looking up at the cast list for this. But hey, I, I love the fact that he, like, immediately, Abeto comes walking down like the bad bitch she, that she is, because she is a bad mother having bitch, and it's like, fucking beautiful, I'm in love, oh my god, and such. And so he wants to use, like, Abeto is a stepping stone for him, but Abeto is also thinking that same way with him. She's using him just as much as he uses her, and I like that. I like the fact that they're both fucking with each other and toying with each other. You use them to your heart's content, and then you throw them away like a little tissue. That's just my thing. But, well, well not in relationship, but, like, what, you know, it just depends on who, however people screw with you. Yes, that's all. So, you know, learn that lesson. That's all. Hint, hint, not just yes, 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 yes. Um, but, yeah, I, I got a lot, of, a lot of unanswered questions. That box, what is that for, and what are we going to do with it? But, like, once again, I, I feel like from... Thinking about, like, backwards into my knowledge of me reacting to the show, I feel like we've seen this box before. Um, I want to say, like, season two, season three is when we saw it. I, I, like, once again, love the fact that this episode focused on the princess because the last time we saw her and when I was first introduced to this girl, I was like, oh my god, she's so freaking cute. I love her. And then when everybody was like, oh, well, wait until you get to this because you might feel some type of way. And you might, you know, without, like, spoiling me. And then when I got to that twist about her and Climb and such, especially how she feels towards Climb, very protective, and then, you know, she feels a certain type of way. Miss Little Yandere, bitch. And I was like, no, I love it! It's something different where it, she's literally me in a nutshell where it's like, oh, hey, happy, happy, joy, joy, cuteness, baby. But then at the same time, I could marry you in your sleep and stuff. Um, but only for the protection of the person, of the one person who she really cares about. So she's like, 
once again, me in a nutshell, where I, it's like, oh, hey, I like cute stuff, but I also like horror at the same time. So, yeah, like, match made in heaven, in my opinion. But um, something just tells me we may see a little bit more of her. Um, did not like seeing her brother again because I, I know I felt like some type of way towards him um, in the previous seasons, from what I remember. I think I would have to go back and look at my videos because source material, bitch. Um, but, but yeah, I, you know, I was ex once again expecting shelter, you know, got a little, like, it's the same thing. Like, I want to see, um, fucking Demiard. Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody. It, it's just, it, it's interesting when you get to see certain characters, but then at the same time, once again, you're like, bro, where is this character, that character and such? And I just need to see them. That's all. Nothing would make me happier. That and then, you know, people dying in the show. <laughs> and the non-CGI-ish. I mean, okay, okay. Let's talk about this once again. I mean, I feel like the CGI, like, comparing it from last week to this week got a little bit more better. I, I just, I was not expecting, like, okay, one, I was expecting the CGI horses. So, yes. The CGI people walking into a ball? I, I wasn't expecting that. Was we all expecting that? Because I don't think I was. Neither any of us was expecting that. So I, I get it because, you know, you're trying to save on it. And, of course, you think CGI is the best thing. I mean, it, it like, it, what I like to say about using CGI in a 2D anime, it helps sometimes, but then it also harms you. It's like a double-edged sword. Um excuse me, depending on how you use it. I like to say when you look at freaking, um, I'm going to use two seasons of Pretty Cure in a nutshell. So if you look at Happiness Charge Pretty Cure and Go Princess Pretty Cure, especially when they were using like attacks for the girls and they were doing their magical girl moments, that was good CGI. So boom. Also using um, D4DJ or Ben Diddy season two and season three as like a whole CGI series rather than the 2D that's good as well. But something like this where it, it's still off-putting, it's almost like how I, like, at first felt about B-Stars and stuff and how I was like, I don't know how I'm going to personally feel about this. Or when you are so used to something being 2D and then it goes 3D and you're like, sometimes when you're comparing characters to how they looked one way and how they look a different way, it's very similar to, like, how a lot of us felt when, um, freaking Kingdom Hearts, there we go, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2.8, <laughs> final chapter prologue, or the game that's in it, uh, Birth by Sleep of Fact and Cherry Pads at 0.2, where we got to see our favorite characters transition from that 2D, 3D as CGI to Unreal Engine, and how... A lot of us had problems and I still feel like that with this show it, it's a beautiful amazing show but that CGI is that one little downfall every single freaking week and I, I remember like in both what season two and three where I was like yeah this is good I love it oh my god but the CGI I never thought I would <laughs> <laughs> would say that in this book. Woo! So you might be hearing that from me every single week, even till the finale. <laughs> but yeah, I thought the episode was great. I I'm really excited to see how the princess and Alberto are going to like do their ish and if we're going to have more scenes with them. Um, how Alberto and the Philip situation is going to go and then plus, you know, Ayn's doing his thing and such because of course he has his plans on the side that he hasn't told everyone else and how this is all really gonna go and I feel like if something gets screwed over and especially if it's something that Ainz is really deeply cares about and stuff or he betrays the group how is that dynamic gonna go it, there's so many a lot of unanswered questions because it makes me so wonder like volume wise where the hell are we in this series volume wise are we like on volume seven we, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna be like 86. We on volume 11 for this show? Like, I need to, 
<laughs> I would just like to know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of season four of Overlord. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad. And, of course, I will see you guys maybe next Tuesday. I, I As I said in my Tokyo Mimi new video, um, next week is hell week for me because I'll be working um, six days back to back non Scott, uh, Scott, stop. Um, and on Tuesday, of course, I know I will be hella tired, um, when I come home. So just depending on how I feel when I come home Tuesday, um, I can try to hurry up and get the videos out as quick, fast, and a hurry. But if I can't, I will have them come out Wednesday morning around 10, 11 o'clock. But yeah, just, you know, if nothing comes out Tuesday, just know it'll come out Wednesday morning. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.